from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. The shuffling continues on both political sides. An announcement in the wake of the Lanisha Royal resignation from the cabinet. She's been replaced as sports minister by Aaron Lewis, the former state minister for disaster preparedness. Now that position has been filled with West Grand Bahama MP Pakisha Parker Edgecombe. The confirmation of her appointment came from the cabinet office last night. Meantime, the PLP has made a decision apparently about putting Monique Penling, the daughter of former Prime Minister Penling, on the ticket. She announced earlier that she wanted to run in South Andros, and with the announcement this week that Pikesville Forbes will not seek re-election, the position was open, but she's told the Tribune that the party has told her she will not get that or any other nomination because, in her words, party officials do not want a Penling on the ticket. Tourism Minister Diagula says despite the recent redundancy exercised by Bahama, He believes that as world corona vaccinations continue, the tourism product will get better and those jobs will be back. I am of the view that as more people get the vaccine and become emboldened to travel, more people will travel. So during the course of this year, things will begin to get better, culminating at the end of the year where I think we should have a fairly robust Christmas at least compared to the Christmas in 2020. Bahama made 100 employees mainly in the entertainment sector redundant earlier this week. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police have now released the name of the country's latest murder victim. The man found with gunshot wounds in the area of the LW Young School is Antonio Russell. He was 30 and is murder number 22 for the year. Another man in serious condition in hospital after he was shot Monday night after he left an East Bay Street establishment. Police are looking into an apparent drowning incident. It happened in Elizabeth Harbor in Georgetown, Exuma. The victim is a man who could not be revived after he was pulled from the water. Police are looking into the circumstances. Six confirmed coronavirus cases for Monday. Four in the capital, one in Grand Bahama, one in Abaco. Thirteen persons remain in hospital, two in the IC. Former Prime Minister Ingram among those released from hospital after being treated for the virus. A $30,000 fine for an Abaco establishment for violating the coronavirus rules. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a frontal system approaching from the north, associated weather in time. Partly sunny today, highs from the low to mid-80s, 82 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 82 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 1 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies tonight, showers developing, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines coronavirus vaccine progress in the U.S. The Johnson & Johnson one-dose vaccine now being rolled out there. Health officials are optimistic this will help speed up the process. President Biden on target to vaccinate the entire country by the summer. Tension increasing between the U.S. and Russia after the Americans put sanctions in place in response to the poisoning of Russian opposition leader Navalny. The Russians are calling the sanctions unfair and they're promising a response. The situation in Myanmar continues. It's a standoff between the people and the military leaders there. And neither side is giving any ground. More anti-military demonstrations are planned there today. Tribune's cash track of prices, middle of the week, Shell 452, SO 442, Rubus $4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Another good night for DeAndre Aiden and the Phoenix Suns in the NBA last night. 
Suns went into Los Angeles and beat the Lakers. Aiden had 17 points. The Suns are hot. They're now 23-11 and 11 on the season, right in the playoff picture. The Tribune Sports will have that story. Get the rest of the NBA report also. There's a Sasha Wells sighting in the Tribune Sports. Find out what she did and a report on Deidre Moss also. And find out how UB athletes did in the Roadrunners' recent meet. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.